think I'm gonna just set y'all up right here. So, <laughs> hey guys, Chi Chi here, welcome. Uh, do people actually introduce themselves on vlogs? Cause I don't know, uh, I don't do it too often, but um, yeah. Um, most of you guys know I don't vlog a lot, but there has been a lot of change in my life. So I figured I would take you guys along with me in this uh, new endeavor of mine. So um, yeah, the biggest thing is that my 12-year uh, relationship is officially come to an end with me moving into my own place. Yeah, so this entire like year thus far has been full of change for me. Like I've changed jobs, I've gotten a new apartment, and now, you know, my relationship is over. So yeah, I'm holding it together pretty decently right now. Um, we've been broken up for a minute and I just haven't found a place until now, so. Hence why I'm a little sweaty. So yeah, <laughs> had to bring some stuff up. But um, yeah, it's just, it's weird because, you know, I've been with this person for 12 years and now it's like over. I'm, I'm okay right now. Like I'm gonna probably have a very emotional day today and tomorrow, but um, for the most part, I'm okay. <laughs> um, I'll talk about more of that maybe later when you know i don't feel like a whole waterfall is gonna crash out of my eyes but i figured i can give y'all a little empty apartment tour you know what all the girlies be doing and something like that i don't know what i'm doing right now <laughs> but um i kind of have to thank you guys on the low because i have been going through it all year and um, I didn't let on. Sheesh, I am hot. I gotta turn the AC on. But um, yeah, I've been going through it. And uh, with all the changes in my life. And um, I thank you guys because I had to not think about myself when producing content and filming. Like, you guys gave me a reason to, you know, not think about the status of my life I have a whole lot of emotions right now like i'm excited i'm nervous i'm hella emotional i'm a true cancer too so like, emotions are just on a 10 right now and um yeah i am gonna be showing y'all around taking y'all with me um that's the ac kicking on y'all eyes blazing hip-hop and r&b up in here Oof. Um, but yeah, um, I, I have to thank you guys because things got a little dark for me. I ain't even going front or sugarcoat it. It got really dark. And if you think about what darkness is, yeah, I was, I was there. I'm past it. <laughs> I'm past it. But um, yeah, I'm just thankful for this place. And um, yeah, let, let's, let's show you around a little bit. You know what I'm saying? So... I'm not good at this vlogging situation. Don't mind my hair. Don't mind fresh face. But um, yeah, let's let's give it a little little toury tour. So, starting from the front. Bam! This is what you guys will be seeing. So, it's my front entryway. Whatever. We got a little coat closet popping off. Bam! You know the huge. So, and here's my laundry. This is my bathroom. We'll get to that in a, actually, let's go to the bathroom first, All right? So, this is my bathroom. Oh, where's the light? Child, wait a, clearly she's a beginner. <laughs> but yeah, simple bathroom. Hey girl. Um, yeah, I didn't turn on the other light, but I really like this bathroom because it has this little situation right here. And I was like, ooh, y'all know, Y'all know I've been talking about shower gels and all that stuff. Now I have a place to put them. Oh, y'all better watch out. <laughs> Anywho, this is my linen closet, which is cool, cool, cool. Let me take off my shoes real quick because technically ain't no shoes in my house, but uh, this is a new carpet, so I definitely don't want shoes on the carpet. I have two closets. Bam, we got a little, oh, focus. 
Why y'all on macro? Uh, and uh, shablam, another little dual situation here. This is my bedroom. My bedroom is hella small, but I don't plan on doing anything but sleeping in here. So she cool or whatever. Let me, let me get this. I don't like this backlit view. Shablam with the ceiling fan. Yes, love that for me. Okay, and then here is, hold on. Y'all can tell I'm very terrible at <laughs> vlogging, but nonetheless, entertaining so this is my kitchen she cute cute small or whatever you know y'all seen kitchens before so this is my living room but the selling feature of this apartment is this den so if y'all been rocking with me let me, let me turn y'all to me so i used to have a completely separate Bedroom, hold on, hold on. Find the light, find your light, there we go, okay, good. So I used to have a completely separate bedroom to filming. So um, I wanted to get a two bedroom, but child, these prices in Jersey, ridiculous, ridiculous. So I saw that this one had a one bedroom with den, so I was like, all right, cool, let me check this out. I need space. I just need the space. So I love the fact that I have this nice little area. Low key, high key, very high key. I wanna put some barn doors here. Like, I don't know how I can do that, but I want, I wanna do that. <laughs> so, um, yeah. <sighs> let's, let's try to set y'all up somewhere. Oh, I hate these pendant lights. Like, okay. Y'all see me, right? Why is it right here? Like, can we, can we rise these things? She, she's gonna have to do something about that. But, um, yeah, that was a quick little tour or whatever. I really just wanted a place with space versus amenities because, yeah, these apartments in Jersey have been ridiculous and everyone wants to slap on this luxury luxury apartment and it's not luxury child like this ain't no you know high rise you know floor to ceiling obviously this is a regular apartment you know for us common folk i saw quite a few apartments before i landed on this one and the luxury apartments that i saw like one had one closet in the bedroom like what, what, what am I supposed to do with that? And then um, I saw four units in this building. So I was like, oh my God. So actually, let me tell y'all about that, right? So I first came here, I saw um, like a one bedroom and a two bedroom, bitch camp. I was not buying a two bedroom, but I just wanted to look at it. So I saw, the first one I saw was a one bedroom with a balcony, right? So the balcony, I felt like it made the apartment mad dark, right? So, um, but it had good space. So I was like, you know what, that's nice. And she told me about the one bedroom with Den, which is this unit, but it wasn't available to view. So I was like, oh, okay, cool. Um, but it was on the site to rent. So I was like, you know what? I might just rent this site unseen. She just showed me like the little floor plan or whatever. And I was like, all right, cool. I am so wet, child. Anywho. Oh. So I applied, right? And um, I just applied for the one bedroom. Then, um, I wanted to apply for the one bedroom with them, but when I went to go apply, it was gone. So I was like, fuck, I waited too long. So I was like, you know what? Let me just get the uh, really big one bedroom with the balcony. So I got approved a couple of weeks later. I'm like, all right, cool, 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 cool. But when I went to go see the approval status, I saw that the one bedroom with Den was available again. I was like, hold up. If that's available, sis, can I see it? So I called back up the property manager. I'm like, yo, can I, I'm gonna come or whatever. And um, I came with my deposit in hand. I wasn't going nowhere without securing a place. So I was like, um, can I just see every one bedroom option that you have? She was like, no doubt. Property manager, Matt, cool. So I was like, all right, cool. So she, uh, she showed me 
their standard one bedroom, like one that was a little bit bigger, the one that I got approved for, which was the one bedroom with um, balcony, and then this unit with one bedroom den. And when I walked into this unit, it felt like my place. It, it like the space was good, you know, light was good. It, it just felt like me. So I was like, all right, cool, cool, cool. Child, I handed her my deposit. She was like, damn, you already got your, girl, girl, she came prepared. So <laughs> yeah, I had to wait a couple of weeks while they renovated. And I use renovated very loosely because it's not really that they renovated, they updated certain things. Like they just painted cabinets. It's very DIY, very DIY. But the problem is, New Yorkers, I'm sorry, but I'm about to lay it out on you. Y'all fucking up our apartment system because y'all bringing y'all big salary bodies over here because y'all realize, oh, why am I paying $5,000 for a studio apartment when I can pay $5,000 and get me a three bedroom with a pool and amenities? So y'all been driving up the prices in Jersey and don't let you live near a train station. Every town that has a train stop, that rent is going up, 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 up. So I'm thankful for this apartment. I prayed on this apartment. I honestly didn't think I was gonna get it because then all of the requirements, you gotta make three, four times the rent and stuff. And it's just like, child, like, do y'all know the economy that we are in? Like, what is going on? But um, yeah, I'm just thankful. I didn't care about amenities, to be honest with you. I care more about the space because I'm gonna be in my apartment versus the places with the amenities. You know what I'm saying? Trust me, I'm gonna be up in whatever amenity this building offers. Trust me, I'm gonna get my money's worth, okay? Y'all got free Wi-Fi? I'm gonna I'm use it. <laughs> yeah, I was just like, I'm, I'm just very thankful because I really just didn't think that I would get this place. And, you know, it's a good location. I feel safe, you know. Um, yeah, it, it's really cool. And I felt like this was my place because the day I signed, um, left my deposit, right? Um, when I first came, there was a guy with his dog. So cute. One of the little hot dog dogs. And... Um, um, I saw him when he for, when I first walked in, and then I saw him when I was about to leave, and I asked him, I was like, yo, I was like, excuse me, sir, I was like, how do you like living here? And he's like, oh my God, me and my wife love it, um, it's good neighborhood, you know, the people are nice, it's quiet, it's walkable, you know, you're gonna love it. And he's like, are you just gonna be by yourself, or are you with somebody? I was like, no. You know, it's just it's gonna be me. He's like, well, take my number. Me and my wife would love to have you. We'll make sure that you're good. And oh my God, I'm about to cry. Like I felt cared for, and I hadn't felt cared for in a while, like a long time. So that made like that kind of just like like solidified it like okay I'm making the right decision like moving here so be trying not to cry on camera because I gotta edit this and it is <laughs> nothing worse than editing yourself crying so yeah um but uh right now I'm just gonna go ahead and deep clean this apartment because child she's dirty she's a little dirty and also i gotta bless my apartment because i prayed so hard for it so i'm gonna do my little blessing and uh clean up and uh i'm gonna talk to y'all in a little bit okay in here yo i was going to vlog my whole moving experience but um the way my stress levels was mm -mm, it said no it said absolutely not so <laughs> let's take it from the top right 
So I was scheduled to um, start moving at 11 a.m. That's when the movers were supposed to come. It's supposed to be three guys, right? There was a call like, hey, we're running late on our first job. Cool, no problem. We should be there, you know, hour. Hour turns into two, two turns into three. Fam, they didn't show up until like almost three o'clock in the afternoon. Mind you, I was supposed to start at 10 a.m. moving. So in between that time, like I was just packing up extra stuff, you know, because I was like, shoot, if if y'all, if I got some time, you know, let's throw some more ish in the box and have y'all move it. It was two pickups and a drop off, right? So when they were picking up the stuff from my storage unit, I'm noticing that only two of the guys are working. So I'm like, fam, like, what's what's the other dude's role like he's like oh you know he's the driver here's my beef with this company i ain't gonna say the company name but if i hire three people that means i need three people moving the stuff that's what i pay for not a dude to chill in the car with the ac on the way i needed this thing to move i started moving my stuff with them and it's just like what the hell man um so we get up to my um ex's house and they're doing the assessment they're already saying i'm over the box limit that i like they were quoted i'm like all right whatever just charge it whatever i don't care so um the guy is looking at my ikea pack system you know the one that usually in my background and he's like i don't think we're gonna be able to take this and i'm like what you mean you're not gonna be able to take this so he starts saying, oh, you know, the Ikea stuff is mad fragile, da, 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 whatever. And um, mind you, it was on the second floor. I will give them that. You would have had to go two flights of stairs. And I also built that unit in the room. So I can, I like, I understood what he was saying. Like, okay, fine. But like, it, I was just at a point where it, I was just like, so like ready to go and just have this done i didn't even put up a major fight i was like you know what fuck it just leave it i don't care um i just needed the move to happen you know so um we finally pull up here they unload all the stuff dot, 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 whatever fam they didn't leave till a little after 10. i did not expect this move to be this long and now i understand why that first job that they had took so long because you hired three people but only two of them are working and on top of that like there was going to be some like i had some uh chairs or whatever i was going to leave at my ex's place and dot 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 whatever and i'm like okay put whatever like this certain storage stuff that was his put that to the front of the uh the the truck or somewhere that's accessible so you can just load it off the truck child why they put it in like this attic space that they gotta move stuff and i'm like this is why y'all are taking so long because it's like it's a little bit disorganized i ain't gonna front it's a little disorganized but um yeah i was so tired so fucking tired <laughs> like i was like i just want to make up my bed hop in the shower and go to bed that's it go to sleep because my body was aching like it felt like I basically worked out all day so I was going to take a shower and I realized that I didn't have the rings for my shower curtain so what did I have to do I had to drive all the way to Walmart just to get some shower rings and then I forgot I'm in a new city well it's not new but new to me and I there was another like Walmart or something like closer to me but i'm just conditioned to go to the other walmart that i usually go to and i was like damn you could have just went like five minutes away you could have been <laughs> at a walmart so i was like damn girl like you really fumbled that but that's how tired i was i only ate a, a steak egg and cheese thank god i had that i had half of it for breakfast half of it for lunch and that was it I was like, I was so tired. And then even after I left Walmart, I had stopped at Wendy's because I was like, yo, sis, you ain't eat all day. I didn't even eat it. 
I was so tired. I just hopped in the shower and went to bed. Like, I didn't even lotion my body. <laughs> I was tired. And then I caught the illest thigh cramp in both thighs at the same time. I stretched and all of a sudden it's like, <laughs> like, I know most of y'all have an experience like a calf, whatever, like spraying, you know, when that thing lock up. Thighs? Thighs? Oh my God. That's a whole next level shit right there. I was like, oh my God. But this, like this morning, I didn't get out of bed till like a little afternoon because I was just like, my body right now cannot. So, um, yeah, I'm just trying to take it easy today. I am going to unpack some things, but I'm just sitting in my space. And for the first time, this actually feels like my home. Like, it's the energy that I have in my space. And it just, it feels like me. It just... Yeah, it feels very much so like me. Like, there's a couple of things here and there that, you know, will be addressed at a later time with my unit. But overall, I just feel really good about this place. I truly do. I know I had my old apartment before I moved in with my ex. And I think that didn't feel like home to me only because I was moving out of my childhood house. You know, so everything came with me. And like now it wasn't as much and it just, it just feels like me. Like I low key want to decorate. I'm not decorating though, but I low key like, am like, mm, let me go get a, get an olive tree. <laughs> I'm not worried about decorate. I will decorate, but I'm not worried about decorating like right now out the gate, but I just want to get these boxes like unpacked. So yeah, I just really feel at home. I feel very blessed and um, I'm excited. I'm also really, really excited. So yeah, let's unpack some stuff, you know, and uh, catch you later. <laughs> Child, not me sitting here going through a whole story and didn't even hit the record button. Child, I can't. Anywho. <laughs> I, I've been terrible at this. Like, clearly, vlogging is not my strong suit, okay? But y'all gonna get what y'all gonna get because I'm giving it to you. But <laughs> I'm gonna just do some updates or whatever. So, number one, sis ain't had no gas. So, I was like, all right, burners aren't coming on. I'm not even gonna go to ShopRite, Target, Walmart to pick up any food because what's the point of picking up produce if I can't cook it, you know? I was like, all right, so I'll just wait to talk to management about that. So, cool. But another issue I was having was with the hot water. So like the first night I took a shower, like the it, it was warm, but towards the end, it got like dumb icy cold. So I'm like, what the fuck? And then every time I would use the um, sink in the bathroom, the water was never warm in there. In the kitchen, if you waited a while, you it'll definitely like warm up. So I was like, okay, cool, cool, cool. But after a few showers, I was like, something's wrong, something's off. I had to do it like five minute military style, like pits, tits, private. Like <laughs> I had to really go in there, like prepare for war. So um, yeah, this shower is gonna be really, really nice. The first shower was good though. That's why I was just like, oh God, I hate this hair so much. Like it's so stiff. It's one of my syntheticals. I just couldn't be bothered either. But <laughs> yeah, so I just was, trying to get my life together. And then, you know, my living room though, has come up, you know, you can see the little, little ambiance. I work from home, but I completely forgot that I didn't bring the chair that I normally work in. So I had to like spin my couch. <laughs> so <laughs> I can, cause I had my desk set up. I'll show you guys eventually, but and child, I was like, she, she gonna get this work. I don't feel like buying a chair right now. I want to buy a chair that I want and not something, oh, let me just do it for the time being. We have gas, guys. Um, quick little update. So I went downstairs and ran into the property manager. 
and told him my situation. And he's like, if you got time, I'll, I'll look at it now. I'm like, bet, let's go. So um, he did whatever he did. He went into, like he pulled out the stove, did his ones and twos, and she has gas, okay? So now um, I can cook, which means I can go to Walmart or Target or ShopRite and get groceries because I still haven't gotten groceries. But whatever gas thing he ended up doing, also affected my hot water so now that everything is fine we're good in the hood because i was like sis needs to take a hot shower tonight shower gonna be on and she popping but um yeah he said that he could turn up the temperature a little bit more if i wanted to i said let me look let me try this out for a couple days and see how i like it and then you know how at you when it, or if I should say if I need you so um yeah but I wanted to show you a little bit of the progress that I made in the living room because that's the best looking room so digging the vibes here love this vibe right here don't worry about this little box I gotta undo it blah, 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 whatever I 1000% hate my couches I've had them for seven years over seven years I think they're done they're full on Monet they look great from this angle, but if you get up close, which I'm not going to do, <laughs> trash. <laughs> but I am going to keep the pillows, but I'm going to get covers for them at some point. But yeah, I just, I just can't. This is the den. Don't look at the den, okay? L listen, listen, just focus. We're going to focus on this, okay? <laughs> but um, yeah, I love that part. And then I love this little part of my countertop. I wasn't a fan of this countertop, but it's starting to grow on me just a little bit. We're not gonna look at the bedroom either because that's also a mess. So right now, since your girl has gas and she can cook now, I think I'm gonna go to ShopRite and pick up a couple of things. I kinda don't feel like it, but um, I need spices too. That's the thing, I was like, I just don't feel like spending money. I feel like just staying in for days. Like, I literally don't want to leave my apartment, <laughs> but I know I have to go outside. So I think we should do a, should I wear a shot at Walmart, Target, or shot right? Decisions. Maybe I'll bring you along with me. Mm -hmm. Maybe, maybe I'll make this an actual vloggy vlog. Hey. Not that way. <laughs> Guess who forgot her camera? Me. <laughs> of course. Freaking course. I forget the camera. So I decided to go to shop, right? Actually, let's move you over. Oh, let's move you, let's move you this way since I got some counter room. But when I was in shop, right, I was like, you know what? I have no knives. Like I have no utensils. I don't have any of this. So I can't even like chop things so i'm like girl what, 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 what are we doing but i really wanted some sausage and peppers so i'm gonna have that this week i decided to cave and get them pre-cut but just a little you know something something I'm, there's nothing exciting that i actually bought i didn't want diced onions but that's all i had mom loves her spinach her guac I'm actually trying to be healthy while I'm here. Got some of these. I got more of these in the car. But the way my hands were set up, I was like, mm, we're not going to do that. But before I get healthy, I need to drink my mango green tea. Got to have the shrimp on that. Then the bubble burgers, they was on sale. Like, it's not really a sale, but it was like $9. But... The regular beef ones was $14.99. I was like, nope, we're gonna get two turkey burgers for it a day. Got that oink oink. And then my peppers and or the, the sausage. Honestly, guys, primo sausages, best one. Hands down, they make the best sausage. I got more stuff, don't I? Damn. <laughs> but 
what else I get? It's just really fat girl shit. Like, I have no business eating that. But sometimes your spirit just moves you. I might want to wake up this Saturday and watch some cartoons, you know? So, I was like, let me get some of that. Ranch. I got all the condiments. I really should have waited until I went to, like, Walmart. Because I know this shit would have been way cheaper. But I saw it and I was like... Let's just buy it now because that means I ain't got to go nowhere else. I ended up getting these because, again, I don't have plates. I don't have nothing. Nothing. And um, you kind of need that. So. Oh, God, bro. How much shit did you get? <laughs> this is what I really wanted. Some corned beef hash. Chow. Delicious. Favorite sauce, you know, let's saute onion. But I do want to try that that Rao, R-A-O. I know a lot of people on keto be eating that, so I do want to try it, but for right now, <laughs> before I go back on keto, she's going to have the fat girl stuff. So I figured I will probably go back on my, like, diet. Um, actually, not a diet, a lifestyle change um maybe after my birthday possibly i don't know because there's a lot of cute little restaurants around here and i'm like mama likes to eat so i need to try some of those places out so um i did a little bit of damage and of course you know when you buy this much food you gotta buy actual food to eat because i'm not cooking tonight so let me go ahead and put this stuff away so what do people do in these vlogs yo <laughs> I, I was really good miley i really don't know how long this is so and I don't particularly love when people are just talking and eating. And what am I doing? Talking and eating. Don't even know. And I only got Taco Bell because the line is short. Usually, it's wrapped around the building. But that's also the reason why I like going to this Taco Bell. Because this stuff is fresh, you know. But overall... I don't be eating no damn top of it. But um, I think I'm gonna just figure some ish out. No, I gotta edit. Got a video for y'all. I was supposed to post it. I didn't post it, so let me finish this. And we're gonna edit. Okay, this is not better, but it'll do. Let me see. Oh, okay. There we go. Got a little light going on. So, this is my first package from Amazon. It's exciting. I can spit. <laughs> it really isn't exciting at all. But I finally made my Amazon purchase. And of course, it's got to come in like 15, 50, 11 boxes. But this is the first. So I wanted to share this part. So it's nothing exciting, trust me. So I got a little Casey case for this particular camera. I got um like a plate for the bottom because listen, I got the Sony ZV1, right? Because I wanted a little something, a little pocket joint, you know, take out maybe vlog, blah blah blah. I literally purchased this and then a week or two later, Sony announced that they were coming out with the ZV-1 Mark II. So I was like, really? Um, they have a couple of updates on it, but the uh, stabilization, she a little shaky still. Like I really wanted the ZV-2. I was gonna return this one uh, because this, with the ZV-2, um, they changed the lens, so it's better for vlogging. I think that one is at a, what was it at? I think it was like an 18 to 50, 
whereas this one is 24 to 70. So theoretically, the lens is better for vlogging on the ZV2, but they took out the, the um, stabilization within the lens on the ZV2, but it still has this one. I need stable footage, okay? All right. Um, and as far as, you know, the distance between us, Mama has long arms. You see all this? She has long arms, so I'm good with that. <laughs> I'm good with that. But anywho, back to the unpacking. Um, duvet cover. So wanted to get a couple of these. Uh-uh, somebody even wrote on this. Return, wrong size. Uh-uh, I don't even like all that. You see this? Somebody done wrote on Nope, this shit gone back. They're both written on. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. That means somebody done already touched all this. This package was open. Oh, but the duvet cover looks so good. But no. See, now I don't know what size this is. She's going back. <laughs> nope return it was touched it was mm -mm, no so that was a quick little amazon haul <laughs> maybe i'll do a separate video on like the amazon haul but i just wanted to share that one i went into office for the first time since being here um the commute kind of was the same it added maybe like 10 or 15 extra minutes because child all the lights it was the lights that was killing it really but my overall commute kind of is the same versus the, you know, me trying to get to the highways. But uh, yeah, like work was cool and we're here and I want to eat dinner. And my uh, son going to go, go get me some my Chinese. Y'all want to laugh real quick? Cause I'm a fucking idiot. Like this is how you know I'm fucking tired of cleaning and stuff like that. So. I cleaned out my little ice maker joint, whatever. So sis can have some ice. Child, tell me why. <laughs> I forgot <laughs> to put the damn <laughs> ice everywhere. Just, just everywhere. <sighs> I mean, I could just scoop it up, but no. <laughs> I need a big all new ice. <laughs> Fantastic. I just had me a good old two minute chuckle though. <laughs> God, you're so dumb. <laughs> I just thought about it. Sis ain't, sis is not wasting no ice. I found me a little Ziploc bag. No, this gonna be somebody ice pack. Cause no. Mm -mm. <laughs> Shoot, come on girl. Ain't wasting my damn ice pack. Get it all day for you. <laughs> And I love how some of these are like perfectly in between the crate. <laughs> I have really been enjoying just being by myself in my thoughts. Like I don't have cable. I haven't set up streaming services. The freaking, I can't find a remote to this TV. So it just looks really beautiful, but I can't work it. <laughs> Child, I can't work it. And I'm a little upset because you know, trying to well i'm not like devastated or anything because there's the internet but um freaking uh vanderpuff rules i need to finish the 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 whatchamacallit the reunion scandal it's got the nation shook <laughs> um yeah just being quiet in this space is just priceless priceless oh, so good you know so I need to edit. I thought today was Wednesday, but it's actually Tuesday. Um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and edit so I can post the video for y'all and do something. But I don't know, I think I might just end this vlog here. I don't know how these things be ending, child. But um, yeah, so far the last couple of nights have been really good. And you know, it's my first step into peace. Like. I don't know. I'm just like everyone I've been talking to, like in my family, family, friends, they're like, your energy has already changed. And I'm like, yeah, 
it has. <laughs> I'm just excited. Um, so hopefully it will, no, not hopefully, it will last, okay? Because I'm choosing happiness. So I'm gonna talk to y'all in the next one.